everybody, welcome to the channel. My name's Jonathan, and this is my 2000 7.3 liter F250. So I bought this truck a little over a year ago with 177,000 miles on it from a dealership in Northern Ohio. The story that I got from the dealership is that this truck is from Georgia, which makes sense because of how good the, the body panels really are. There's, there's no rust coming through, no typical Ford rust around the fenders or anything. It's a clean truck. Almost everything underneath of it as well is really clean. This truck has the standard TS six position chip that goes up to 140 horsepower. When I got this truck, it was getting the common turbo flutter at higher boost levels. And I remedied that by swapping out the stock turbo wheel with the wicked wheel. While I was working on the turbo, I noticed that the air filter looked like it had never been changed since it was installed. So I replaced it with the tried and true 6637 Napa filter. The alternator is new as well. And I ended up replacing it at night in my driveway and it didn't go all that well. Oh. The truck came with two six inch stacks and I didn't really like how they looked and I thought they were too tall and one was kind of off center. So I opted for a complete exhaust system. It's got a four inch down pipe from the turbo, goes all the way to a Y pipe just in front of the rear axle and exits out to two 12 inch long by six inch tips. I added the 375s, they're Mickey Thompson Baja MTZs and a 361550. I went with a 12 inch wide wheel because of how wide these tires really are. The front bumper has been replaced. The one that came on it had a bunch of chicken lights, uh, those marker lights all the way around it. Wasn't a huge fan of it and decided that it needed to go with a new one. I did have to trim the corners of the bumper to get these 375s to fit. And I, I did a pretty good job of trimming the bumper, even though that was a lot more work than what I anticipated it was going to be. But I also replaced the gray valance, valence piece here, and I tried to get the cuts to line up, and I didn't quite get that right, and it wasn't quite installed right. So I have another one of those that I'm going to be installing and actually getting it right. So that will happen at some point in time in the near future. At the same time I was replacing the bumper, I went ahead and did the 05 to 07 grill conversion and it's around 95% complete. I'm pretty happy with the way that it looks. I, I like the, the headlights and, and the big chrome grill and everything. I still need to fix the edges of the grill and get it to come more in line with the, the angle of the bumper and everything. And I still need to secure it at the bottom of the grill too. The mirrors are upgraded. They're upgraded to the 08 style with the integrated running lights and turn signals. I went with 20% window tent all the way around. It's dark enough that I have to roll down the windows to back up at night. So once it gets that dark, you know, I'm actually thinking about potentially running 5% window tent because, you know, the mirrors are pretty much useless with the windows up at night already. So why not go darker? I did a full LED conversion on the outside of the truck. That includes LED tail lights. I did the LED reverse lights. The license plate lights are also LEDs now. The third brake light, it's completely LED, including the white lights that shine down on the bed. I couldn't find exactly what I wanted in the third brake light. There, there were similar designs, or I couldn't use my own bulbs in the, the lights that shine on the bed or whatever reason. So I ended up finding one that was pretty close to what I wanted and I used red window tent in the center to make it look closer to the factory one. The headlights are fully custom. I did the 05 to 07 conversion, uh, cutting out the header panel and everything. And when I had the, these headlights out, I baked them apart and installed high-low projectors with a 5,000 Kelvin HID kit. While I had the headlights apart, I went ahead and added the angel eyes as well, which I like to leave on the amber setting because I'm using the switchback LEDs and the running lights, so those are white most of the time. And then we have an amber outline around the, the headlight section and around the running light section as well. I think it's a cool look, but you know, it's, it, that stuff's really just for fun anyways. The interior of this truck is relatively stock. There's only a few holes from the previous owner. It has a common three gauge A pillar, came with boost, fuel pressure, transmission temp. The wiring for the gauges does leave a little bit to be desired, but it is working, so I haven't been super motivated to take it apart 
and clean it up and make it nicer. This head unit was already in the truck when I got it, but I did add two kicker 10 inch subwoofers in this box under the rear seat. And it sounds pretty good too. I hid the amplifier right behind the rear seat. It just nests nicely back there in the, uh, the little cavity that's right there behind the seat. All right, that is an overview of the current state of my F-250 project. Let's do a startup and go for a drive. near future I want to do a set of traction bars because I'm currently getting a lot of axle wrap on takeoff and on, on heavy acceleration and currently I'm only getting one wheel peel which is no fun I mean if we're gonna be doing burnouts in Mexico I mean I would definitely want to be doing both and not just one I am also currently looking at different wheels and tires and I know it kind of seems crazy because these only have somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 miles on them but Part of the reason why I got this truck, uh, it, was, it was a potential chance to finish a project that I didn't get to a couple years ago. I had a very similar truck to this one, but because of life and things that happened, I didn't get to finish it, at least to where I, I wanted it to be. And these are the wheels and tires that I would have put on it at the times. So with the rims and tires that I'm thinking about, I'm thinking of going with 24 by 14s on some 375s, which will be about the same size, width, and height that I currently have. The, the real question is, should I go bigger, though? I mean, could I do some 26s by 16s on 38s or 40? This only has a six inch lift on it, but I could always go up a few more inches. I could go up to an eight inch lift and then potentially run 40s. I, I mean, if these fit, I think 40s will fit with an eight inch lift. What do you guys think? What should I do? Should I keep it the same height? Should I go with bigger tires? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should do next to this truck. Another upgrade that we're gonna be looking at is upgrading the suspension. So I'm not entirely sure of how well it comes through in the video, but this thing rides really, really rough. Uh, like way rougher than it should. Uh, I mean, it's not independent front suspension, so I understand, but I definitely wanna upgrade the suspension, get some new shocks. I mean, the, the no name, spray painted shocks that are on it just aren't really doing it. Another note is the uh, steering. We'll see that we're going straight and I'm doing this and it's not going anywhere and that is because the steering is worn out. Ooh. Whatever that was we need to fix that. I think that has to do with suspension components and it that really didn't feel feel nice. We, we need to do something about that too. So I'm still working on what my power goals are, what I actually want to achieve with this truck. Uh, you know, how much how much power do I really want to make? And also, you know, the, the question of, of when it comes to 7.3s is how much money do I really want to spend on it as well? I do have a 6.0 project going on as well. And I think the 6.0 is probably equally as expensive and I'm not entirely sure that I want to spend the money on the engine in this one aside from maybe a different tune. I'd like the chip reburned, uh, get the ship points fixed, things like that. Gotta wait for these cars. sound. 
So if you like the build, you know, or you don't like it, either way, good, bad, indifferent, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If, uh, if you, any of you guys have any good suggestions of uh, something I should do next to this, aside from roll it down a hill because it's a Ford, you know what, yeah, let me, let me have that one too.